Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a random haul video. I'm just going to share with you a couple of items that I hauled within the past several weeks. And it's kind of going to be a random haul. I have things ranging from beauty, to fashion, to food. It's just all like mumble jumbled. So I'm just going to go right into this haul. First I'm going to start off is Walmart. And I did pick up a few beauty items from there. I finally, finally, finally got my hands on the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof um, Eyeliner in Nude. And I have been searching for this at all my local drugstores and I couldn't find it and I finally found it at Walmart and I'm really excited about it because it's cheaper at Walmart as well. It was only about I want to say three or four something but it's extremely cheap and affordable and I've heard it's a great dupe for the Urban Decay the 24-7 um, eyeliner and apparently it glides on very very smoothly and lasts and it's pretty creamy so I picked up two of them actually I opened this one already because I used it once and I'm in love with it. Next I picked up this Garnier Fructis um, Sleek and Shine Flat Iron Perfector Straightening Mist. And apparently it has argan oil in it so that kind of made me very intrigued to it. And it says it's a 48 hour straight finish, heat protection, stays smooth and shiny and this is a 6 fluent ounce bottle. Um, this is my first time trying it. If any of you guys have tried this, let me know in the comments down below if you liked it or not. I know a couple of my friends on Instagram had said it was just like eh and it didn't really do anything for their hair so there may be a possibility that I'm gonna return this. Maybe I'll try it a little and if I don't like it then I'll just return it. It's like no big deal. So lastly I picked up this Revlon Precision Clear Lash Adhesive and this one is in clear. It dries clear and a lot of people have been raving about this and saying how it's really really great for your eyelashes and it lasts pretty much the whole day and you don't have to reapply it so I'm happy I got this. I currently use the Ardell clear one and that one's running out so I wanted to try a different product and hopefully this works well for me. Next I went to Bath & Body Works of course. I seriously love that store. One of the main reasons I go there is just to pick up the wallflowers because you can never have too many of them and they run out pretty fast especially if you keep your wallflowers plugged in like 24-7 and apparently that's bad and it burns out the... Um, the actual wallflower but I keep it in like 24-7 so the bulbs actually run up pretty fast for me and I just picked up a two pack of the Sea Island Cotton. This is one of my faves because it's very fresh smelling kind of like a laundry smell and that's like my absolute favorite scent. It makes my bathroom smell really good and just nice and fresh. And I also picked up um, another two pack and the scent is in Pineapple Orchid. But those two are currently plugged in right now so I'm not going to be able to show you guys that one but it smells really great as well and very fruity. So these next few items I picked up are from Jack's 99 cent store and I absolutely love this store because they do have a wide range of cosmetics from like L'Oreal to Revlon. They do have Elf products as well. Um, they have Maybelline, they have everything and this store usually discounts their cosmetics because either the products are discontinued or I don't know they're just extremely cheaper than when finding it at your local drugstore. So let me show you guys what I got. This first item I got is the L'Oreal Telescopic Explosion mascara and this is in carbon black in 990 and it just looks like this the applicator is kind of just like a ball with like spikes going out of it and this is my first time trying it so hopefully it does well the main reason why I got this is because I want a mascara that's good for my lower lashes because my lower lashes are very very sparse as you all know because I'm Asian and they're basically non-existent so hopefully these will make my lashes look more voluminous. If any of you guys have tried this, please let me know if you tried it and if you liked it. And this was only $4 from Jack, so I thought that was a steal. These next two items I've been meaning to get, but I just haven't gotten them. But when I saw them at Jack's, they were super cheap. So I ended up picking up two of them in different colors. And it's the L'Oreal Infallible um, Lip Gloss or lip color thing where it comes in 
the color and then this moisturizing balm on the other end and this is the celebrity line or what is it called this one is in Diane's tube rose it's just a nice pinky reddish lip color and after applying the color on your lips you're supposed to let it sit for two minutes to let it settle in your lips and then after you just apply this moisturizing balm that it comes with and basically this is supposed to last all day and all you have to do is really apply the moisturizing balm to keep it um, nice and smooth and not dry. This is the other one I picked up in Andy's Rose, which is another nice rosy mauve color. It's just like the perfect pink color and it kind of has a sheen to it. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it's there. For three dollars, so that was a steal because I think normally in drugstores they're probably like eight or $9, I'm not too sure, but if you guys have tried this out, let me know how you liked it and if it works for you. And the last two items I picked up are just like basic things that I need. And it's just a body wash. This is the Suave Naturals in Ocean Breeze and this smells amazeballs. It smells, it just smells so refreshing. It kind of smells like the shampoo and conditioner from hotels. I don't know if that makes any sense, but so good. And then I got another one but in um, milk and honey splash. So this one is more creamy texture but yeah these were only two bucks each and it comes with 18 fluent ounces so I thought that was a great deal. So as you all know yesterday was actually my birthday May 15 and this weekend actually tomorrow today is Thursday and tomorrow Friday night I'm gonna be going out with a bunch of friends to celebrate my birthday and I had nothing to wear so I went shopping the other day at the mall and I came across Charlotte Russe and they were having a sale where all dresses in the store are 20 bucks so you can't go wrong with that it's extremely cheap and when I saw this dress and I tried it on I was like that's the one that is the one I'm going to wear and I absolutely love 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 the color I don't own any dresses like this or any clothing at all that is this kind of color because it's just so pretty and very very summery and springy and it's this really cute neon yellow dress I love the neckline it's just a gold braiding and it also came with a belt as well to match the neckline and it's just a really cute flowy dress it looks like this and then at the bottom it's it's a high-low dress so you can see the front is shorter than the back and then inside there's of course a slip since the fabric is see-through and this was the last one in my size so that's how you know when it's meant to be if it's the last one in your size then you gotta get it like there's no question about that so this next item that I'm about to show you guys was actually free I had went to a Jimmy Fallon show um, if you guys aren't familiar with him he's the late night talk show host and it's based in New York in Rockefeller Center and I went to his show a couple of weeks ago and Eli Manning was the guest celebrity I was so surprised because when he was speaking with Jimmy Fallon on the show, as you were watching, he was saying how he came up with this new sneaker from Reebok. And then a few seconds later, he was like, oh, and each person in the audience gets a free pair. And I was like, what? Yeah, Eli Manning gave each and every one of us from the audience who went that day a free pair of Zig Carbons and they're just Reebok sneakers. This is how it looks like. How cute are these? They're extremely lightweight. They seriously feel like a paper, like I'm just holding a paper. It's crazy. This is so adorable. Too bad I don't even work out or do anything, any running or anything, but I really should start doing that, especially since summer is right around the corner. Thank you, Eli Manning, if you're watching this, which you probably aren't, but thank you anyway for these free pair of shoes. Who else likes the smell of new shoes? Is that just me? I think I have a weird fetish. This next item is kind of random. Um, my parents had went to Spain for a couple of weeks for a vacation and they just came back like a week or two ago and my mom gave me this cute lace top. And I love anything lace so I'm really happy about that because sometimes my mom gets me things that 
I don't like or it's just not my style but I'm surprised she chose this one and I love it and lastly I have a bunch of just random huge chocolate bars look how ginormous these are if you follow me on Instagram I posted a picture of these a couple of days ago or a week ago when my parents got back but my parents got me these ginormous chocolate bars from Spain and what's funny is that none of this is actually from Spain <laughs> like Toblerone these Toblerones from Switzerland and this lint chocolate is from Switzerland as well they got it in Spain because apparently they were really cheap like these jumbo sized Toblerones were maybe three dollars or something check how ginormous these bars are I'm probably not going to be able to finish this on my own so this will probably take a couple of months the only Spain food related item that my parents got me is this um, it's called masa pan fruta I think I'm saying that right hopefully I'm not butchering it but um, it's really good I don't know how to describe it what is masa pan fruta what does that mean you guys if any of you know what that means I know fruta is fruit obviously but masa pan I'm not sure what that is but it's like sweet and it's kind of like smushy I don't know it's it's good though it's sweet and then it just has little fruit pieces in it and I guess that's basically it that's just a random haul I have to share with you guys and I hope you all enjoyed this video uh, please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye